What is going on you guys? This is Fusion here with Fusion Nation today. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. Today we're going to be playing, as you guys can see on the scene, Daylight. And uh, I, we're probably going to get pretty scared here guys, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'll finish the game. We're going to get right into this whenever the game decides it wants to load. And for a game called Daylight, I suspect it's going to have very little of it. Uh oh. <laughs> Fucking spiders. Ah, good. You've arrived. Sarah, focus. You haven't much time at all. They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. Where am I? Exactly what I'm actually trying It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. You must succeed. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conv conventional therapies and believe they need to start thinking about new procedures. All right. Well, um. Oh, no. Fucking bitch. Get, guys, so daylight. You can see that right, that right out there. Daylight. Uh, the game came out in 2014. And it is a very. Oh, Sarah. They talked about performance issues in the uh, like in the reviews. I don't know why it's actually doing that because part of the thing that pisses me off. I'm all right. You guys can read that. I'm not reading it. Um, GTS 1650 Super. You know, Rise on Five. You know, we, we shouldn't be having no problem. I'm gonna go upstairs first because despite what most people do in horror games and horror movies, um. I'm gonna do it. Plus, I have to find notes, and that is the only way to actually make it through. He said, "Okay." Um, we are but one thread woven from the web of life. All things connect. All things are bound. You creepy fucker. Uh, run. All right, that's exactly all I need to know. Yeah. Um. So you find the notes. It's kind of like Slender, but it's it's a little bit different. Uh, you, every playthrough you do of this game is different. It's all procedural generated. And that's the thing that makes it so scary. Look at that hallway. I love it. Uh, I really don't. Okay, so there's glow sticks. Use the light to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. Okay. Glow sticks. Uh. Ooh. Use the glow stick. <gasps> Fuck it. Yeah. Inventory full. Okay. And pa patient Tim, age ten months old, has been re uh, remitted by our foster friend student Arlen Friendly. Oh my God! Ooh, what the <laughs> fuck? Painting pictures on your flesh, they can smell it. What can smell it? Oh fuck you! Patient suffers from a hoarding problem, frequently hiding her items. She can get her hands on. Patient has been observing clutching objects and mumbling to herself. Yada, yada, yada. The strictly uh, scary shit that uh, all crazy that uh, all crazy people do. Not all crazy people. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I hear shit all around me, by the way. Um, not exactly sure. You see, that's the thing with this game. You have to keep going forward. There's something here. Uh, the printed church. Uh, blah, 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 yeah, having to flee for their lives in order to keep peace. God bless them. The local church and elders. All right. So if you guys haven't put this together yet, this is a psych ward. Or at least a insane asylum. Of which none exist anymore. Okay, the thing you hear. Big fucking room, dude. Okay, there's something going down in the boiler room. Oh, George. Okay, that's right. Something bigger. Okay, okay. Keep that in mind. Um, I don't know. <gasps> Stay away. Fuck it. 
Fuck it. I've got to do at least 20 minutes of this shit. Uh, recommended to remove all, all possessions, patients rooms of means securing their fantasies. Patients become violent during extraction. She seems particularly fixated on an old doll. Cried for days after its removal. Um. These are like some really scary places. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not a big fan of how people have treated mentally ill people over the years, but... I do not know. You know, fun fact, guys. Assuming I don't get, like, absolutely murked in this bathroom right now. Fun fact, guys. There, I've seen, actually, a piece of paper, what they would throw you in places like this for. And it was like... Okay. So this is a room I have to bring it to. Oh, God. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a sigil you have to bring in here after you find the remnants. Um, they would lock you up in places like this for relatively minor reasons. And I mean like for little stuff. Like, there was a light down here and it went off. Okay. Uh, I'm a little freaked out, not gonna lie. Anybody there? Don't never call out to him, you bitch. Well, hello. I think that's all she's doing right now on this first level. I'm gonna keep going forward. There's something in here. I see it. They revealed the sigil. Patient has implacably died overnight. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go back this way and see if that's actually the sigil that he was talking because that might have been the sigil room but yeah um fuck you bitch ain't nobody care about you um yeah this is it the sigil room yeah um what the you could get locked up here Oh, fuck. It began with infection. A black veil of sickness, disease, and despair. Sudden and swift. Okay. I would like to know who you are, sir. What the hell? Hmm. Over here, nothing. Can it be? You see me, I see you, I do not see nothing. The fuck is that? Shit. I do not feel safe, I do not feel safe, I do not feel safe, no, no, no. Here. I know there's somebody here. Will you shut the fuck up? We know there's somebody here. We're running for our lives. Oh shit. Oh. oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. I'm not going forward. Oh my god. I don't know what to go. I don't know where to go. Oh shit. Oh, the door. The door is shut behind me. I do not feel safe. How long have I been recording? Oh my god, it's just been a few minutes. Uh, I have attention on employees. We understand it's difficult to make this, make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just for, just because the record room is large and high size ceilings. Means you can create a satellite break room for smoking. Okay. Be advised, not Jimmy equipment. Okay. Um. Okay, here's another note. Attention, all employees. Last night, at approximately 10, 11, 7 p.m., the power went off to the section of the facility due to unfortunate timing. We were unable to transfer a crucial, pa a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit. 
in the hallway behind the records room security door to avoid this type of tragedy in the future the hospital has declined decided to that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the maintenance security door already will not operate when the power is out you must reset the breaker before opening the door fuck me sideways all right i have to okay uh pull out a glow stick okay it's over here also why is this one okay um there's nothing here yeah uh I, I lost my train of thought guys I'm sorry about that I don't know what I was talking about I was talking something like oh they lock you up they would lock you up in a place like this for like relatively uh, low means <laughs> oh, okay we have feral children running around in here where is your mother? Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Daniels was found dead in their staff quarters. Suicide note indicating that extremely unhappy at work and her personal life. Personnel outside on site say, state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body found sitting in a wheelchair pending a police... In okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Uh, Mid Island Hospital is one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet, and people know the importance of it. Recent years, the hospital hasn't done much to benefit citizens. And, uh, okay, so that, that's why they shut this joint down. Why? That's actually really fucked up. Okay. Okay, I have to go down that way. Fuck it. Give me what you got. Crippling, Kipling citizens accused crime. 16 year old girl allowed, allowed to live amidst guilt. Could been hang. Can. What? Hang. I have no idea. Ramblings of a madman. Who the fuck? The nun? So much pain and suffering. Can I, I can't move. Who knows would seek only solace. Okay. What ails you, Sarah? Whilst on nightly rounds, nurse noticed a patient 9D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, raving about, he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary. I'm looking at my door right now, guys. I know you can't see that, but I'm hella scared. Uh, where the attending physician reported that he would likely lose both eyes. He's blind. That's so fucked up. The patient did not seem bothered by this. <laughs> uh, Perhaps true. I'm just trying to read notes. <laughs> That's all I want, guys. Uh, Psychiatric reward report. Patients are taking their pills and all settle in for the evening, mi evening meals. Dyer, Dyer refuses to check on what? I, I don't even know. I don't know how to pronounce. It. I'm not gonna but check on patient 90D after all the after the incident. He spat up. He spat blood and all over him and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. All right. Well, seemed high, strong, ready to snap, except towards the patient. All right. All right. Well, guys, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, there's this is doing some layers of fear shit and like changing around me. Okay. Okay. I have to push it. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, there you go, Sarah. <laughs> They're behind you, Sarah. If I got stuck in a situation like this, I would just about, I, I say just about give up. I mean, I could just stay up here, right? They can't come and get me. Run. Let's be out of the dark make you feel better. Well, it shouldn't. Why shouldn't it? Guys, I'm I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it. 
Um, the game, it, it, it's doing a little bit better than I thought it would. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it was just five bucks, and I bought it during the Steam stuff. It, it, it does not matter how I got the game. Boys. Uh... It just makes me feel like I'm getting really close to something that I cannot, uh, I'm going to be very scared to play. So, In fact, I'm so scared right now, I'm actually looking for a... Okay. Shit. Okay. So it opened that door. Shit. Fuck you. Scared. Not feeling good. Saving content. That means something bad's about to happen. Okay. You know, guys, I'm gonna be honest. So. I'm gonna be honest, guys. So I don't know if you guys have heard about the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. I would. I, I would love to go there. Okay. Like I'm from that part. There's another note here. I'm from that, like, uh, I always wanted to go and see it. There's, yeah. There's, like, a TV ward, and they have, like, a death shoot. Your blood is thicker than water. You don't say. I hate that saying. Where am I going? Which way do I go? There's too many places. Anybody there? Will you shut the fuck up? You know there's ghosts. Hmm. Hmm. Can't go this way. Ooh, I found more glow sticks. Glow stick! Was it just one glow stick? It was. So, on the bright side, there's only one way for me to go. Okay. Trying to mess with me. I do not- I am not Izalith of Messawi. Fuck me! They're uh, giving me shit to use. What's that? Where are you, bitch? I don't take kindly. I I can see my footprints. Okay. Patient is physically healthy but deteriorated mentally. He remains in his strength jacket under cons constant observation. Patient continually yells that the maze is never ending. Screams continue throughout all hours of the day and night, ranging from low monotone, low monotone chants to fever, the high, uh, fever high pitched yells. Um, electroshock therapy has been scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> you, guys, you know something's fucked up. They still do that shit. It ain't as bad, I don't think. They still do be doing that shit, though. Ooh, fuck. Staffing responds to screams coming from patient in 60E's room. On arrival, there was blood all over the floor. Well, all over, and the patient was slashing herself, repeating with scalpel. It is unknown how she acquired the implement. While there was a lot of blood, none of the injuries were deep or serious. They were all surface cuts, as if she was not really trying to hurt herself, just make a giant mess. Oof. Then... Patient 60E has been remanded to solitary confinement as dangerous to herself and others. Dr. Mercer is also now now directly taking care taking her on as a patient. I'm sorry. Hopefully he will be able to cure her of her inner demons. Um, ugh. so that has me thinking: Is Sarah just uh, is she in here? And this is just like in her mind. Fuck you, bitch. Alright. I saw someone down in the boiler room tonight. Billy! Ooh! Billy. They will curse you. I saw some... I don't... I don't care. I saw someone down in the boiler room tonight. Bastard made me nearly jump out of my skin. Ran off before I could get a good look at them. Though nobody but me and Adam should be down there. So it better not be one of the orderless... Scoping out a spot to put the moves on one of them nurses. Oof, this is my guy. Uh, just make sure people are doing their job and not staring, not uh, screwing around in my boiler room, George. But I can't figure. Oh, 
I'm sorry, I thought I heard something. Billy! I'm done with this hospital. I ain't done with this crap. I ain't dealing with this crap anymore. I saw someone down in that boiler room and one of the orderlies saw it too. It ain't nothing. It ain't right. I don't. And I'm struggling here. I'm struggling to stay in here. I, wait, hold up. To find all its intentions. Beautiful. <sighs> There's something going on. My screen's like, so there's something happening. The stuffed bear, whom the patient refers to as her beloved, has been placed in quarantine. What? Quarantine for bear? The doctor recommends incineration. As it comes in contact with a girl, it may carry the disease. None of us had the heart to burn the stuffed animal, though. I guess only Miss Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft heart for such a poor, wretched little girl. So is that little, is, it, is, is she the one that's like haunting the joint? This is going a big circle. Oh god, I can't see anything. Okay. I'll help you out with that. Okay, so there's nothing here. <gasps> Fuck you, bitch. Fuck this place. Is that all you got? Come on. Where's that? <sighs> Fuck you. That bitch is still is falling. In there? No, there's not. See anything, Sarah? Mama? Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow. There's something I missed down there, isn't there? There's nothing up here. There's nothing up here. Guess I know where I'm going. Downstairs. Fuck you, bitch. There is something down here, dude. There, it's not right. It's fucking right right now. Nothing here. I'm sorry if I'm not talking. The sigil is here. Patient could obsessions with maze. Draw him to. All right, I can take a breather here for a second because it's pause. All oh, mazes all over his cell. Having run out of the, pa the space, the patient turned on himself, carving an elaborate maze onto his own flesh. Pretty much what's happening to my arm right now. Uh, completely enveloping his chest, parts of his back. How did he get his back? Like upper thighs. The buttocks and genitals. Oof, that had to hurt. Patient restrained via a straight jacket and placed in solitary. Pretty much the standard stuff. Nothing. The sigil is there, but I need to find the sigil room. Nothing in here. Waste of fucking time.
light another one. I have to have some light, because, I mean, I'm over here, like... I'm fucking breaking down. Alright, I haven't been this way. Um... Miss Denise Goodman, patient of stuffed bear is a toy without permission from the patient's doctor. Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was resigned, reassigned away from the children's ward until further notice. Um, what a fucking dickhead. <laughs> Fuck you. She's the back No, she's not. <sighs> Glow stick. Glow stick. Carry on the love and hate The village of New Kipling. Kipling. Traces its roots to the mid 1600s. The rich fishing source alongside the easy access to trade routes. Drew. Drew early settlers to the village. Okay. It all works out. Any flares. I know there's somebody here. Okay. They moved the afflicted to this place where you stand. They thought it would protect and leave them to grow. Then came corruption, persecution, and chaos. I don't know where I'm going, guys. I'm just running. Fuck. Dead end. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Hello? Shh. Nobody cares, Sarah. I'm going upstairs. Nobody likes you, Sarah. Always ruin all the parties. Fucking shit. I don't know. Fuck you, bitch. Hell with you. What was that? I don't know what it was. Just keep running. Ain't none of it matter. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. It don't matter. Oh my All right, boys and girls, I'm going to end the episode right here. Now, if you want to see more of this game, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below and by liking the video, as always. And if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. We're almost at 50 subs. We're at 48, but I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.